Well, when we are dealing with exponents and logarithms, it is very important to be familiar with the rules. Okay, the rules are transformational rules, and they help you change and simplify a lot of things. Here I put the exponent rules and the log rules. Uh, I'm not going to say the word logarithm because it's very long, so I'll just call them log rules. The exponent rules and log rules are placed side by side. Okay? The product rule for exponent says that a to the power of m times a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. Okay? And a times b to the power of m is equal to a to the power of m times b to the power of m. If you're unsure of this, just use 2 as a and m and n as 3 or 4, and you can easily understand this. Okay? The quotient rule says that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus a power of n. Now this can be derived from the product rule because a to the 1 over a n is just equal to a over minus n. Okay? And the next quotient rule says that a over b to the power of m is equal to a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m. This is what you probably can guess. Power rules are interesting, okay? a to the m and then to the n's power is equal to a to the power of m times n. Again, you can use a as 2, m as 3, and n as let's say 2 as an example. Okay? You can easily figure this out for yourself. Now this is not what we would call a proof, but just to kind of convince yourself that it's right. Likewise, a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m and n, and that is equal to n times m. So a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of n times m. And that you can write as something like this. The radical root the m radical root of a n is equal to a n over m. Okay. A special case is this a to the power of one over m is this is a radical root of a to the m power. It's the m power root. The negative rule just says a to the minus n's power is equal to 1 over a n's power. So there are quite a number of rules, and you have to be familiar with them. Okay? Otherwise, you're going to be confused, and you're not going to be able to take advantage of the opportunities, the rules presented to you. Now, the logarithm rules, log rules, product rules, is like this, log 
pray. Log A raised to X times Y. The base A log of X times Y is the base A log of X plus the base A log of Y. Quotient rule is like this, log the base A log of x divided by y is the base A log of x minus the base A log of y. Power rule, log base A log of x to the y's power is equal to y times the base A log of x. This is one of the most interesting rules. Okay? Base change rules. The base A log of B is equal to the base C log of B divided by the base C log of A. C is random. Okay, you can pick whatever you want. So for example, if you have log 5 and 6, you can write it as ln6 divided by ln5 with a base of e. Base switch rules says that the log base a log of b is equal to 1 over the base B log of A. Cancel rule. It's very important. A to the power of log A X is equal to X. A to the power of the base A log of X is equal to X. All these rules are quite important. They sound boring, they sound mystique to beginners, but they're not. Good luck, have fun.